In this question, we are given a fairly simple scenario. We know the total number of employees. One way to get the number of employees who completed the training would be to get the fraction or proportion of the total who completed the training. Let's go on to the data statements, analyzing them separately first, as always. Statement one can be analyzed by cases. It's true that 30% of all employees completed more than half the training. But it could further be true that none of them finished. That's one possible case. In that case, the overall completion is zero people. But this data statement also permits the case that 30% of the employees completed more than half the training and all finished it, leading to a completion of 30%. These cases are both allowed by the data statement and they yield different outcomes, different answers to the question. So we have insufficient information to answer the question definitively. Statement two also can be analyzed by cases. We know that 30% of those who began the training completed it. We could imagine that all of the employees began the training and also that none of the employees began the training. Both such cases are permitted by the data and yield different results, so this statement is insufficient. Combining the statements, we will event, again evaluate by cases. One allowed case is that everyone began the training, 30% of employees completed more than half of it, and that same 30% all completed it, leading to an overall completion rate of 30%, or 36 people. Let's see if we can get a case with a different result. Could it be that only 30% of the group even attempted the training? In that case, all of that 30% could complete more than half the training, so statement one would allow that case and possibly only 30% of that 30% completed the training, so statement two would allow that case. In this case, only 30% of 36 people would complete the training. It's not actually possible because we can't have a non-integer number of people completing the training, but we can see that there will be an allowed case with a different result. Therefore, the statements together are insufficient, and the correct answer is E.